Oh, Hello, oh. everybody. Welcome. Our guest okay. artist is Ian Jackson today, live watercolor oh. painting. And he still has to set up. He has he still has to set up. And we have a bunch of people in the chat. So let me say, I, I think Gracie's Gracie's here already, right? Oh hi, Bobby. Let me let me see what you're saying. I, let me bring up the chat on my iPad. Hey. I'm fresh. Hey. Welcome to people in the chat. Let me bring it up on the iPad. I'm all nice and set up now. Here we go. Have you got audio? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to put you on the big screen. Ooh. Oh, it's not bad, that. You can see you can see what I'm doing there, can't you? Because, uh, yes. again, again, it's an upright painting this time round. Oh, okay. Uh, you only, it, it, it's, if it were landscape, I'd be able to make it a lot bigger. But because of the limitations of cameras, you can only get half of it on the right proportions. So I might as well take this mm -hmm. half of it up. With, uh, and, and I'm all ready. Okay, that's chocolate. We have Gracie in the chat, Bobby McNutt's in Hello. the chat. Hello, all. I, I don't know who's there because uh, I've not got my computer, uh, me uh, chat up. So I read the but, chat. Hold on. Um, so is that is that sharp enough for you guys? I don't know. It looks sharp here at, at okay. my end anyway. We're asking what? the chat, does the picture look sharp enough? And, and take into account on on uh, YouTube, it's always a bit uh, a bit soft focus anyway. Uh, what I'm more concerned about is is it is it okay on the uh, streamyard? Is it sharp at that end? That's the only bit that I can affect. YouTube what? like lowers the quality when I come on it. Okay, I can see you good on Streamyard. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it's YouTube because of the um, the network connection that it gets and the the data it gets from me, it kind of quashes it down to a very low uh, aspect uh, uh, resolution. So that's why it's a bit soft on um, on YouTube. And that is one of the reasons why I don't normally uh, do lives. Okay, let me. All right, so you heard his explanation, and now let me let me say we have a bunch of people in the chat. Weblight Dreams, welcome. Gracie, hey. hello. Goswina, welcome. Hi, Goswina. Bob and Bobby McNutt is wishing happy Valentine's to all the gals. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, you old charmer. <laughs> in both art sense. Hello, welcome. Okay, well, I'm really, I'm really surprised because I've not had any, uh, any ladies come up to me and ask me to marry them, because you oh. do know that you do know this year's a leap year, don't you? So, <laughs> mind you, I don't think Mrs. Jackson would be best impressed if they did. So, <laughs> yeah, right. And on that note, Grayscale right. Paint, hello. He says hello, Ian. Hello, Anthony. Okay. Oh, Bobby McNutt says looks great to him. Gracie says picture is great, sound perfect. I'm just gonna um, nip the audio, uh, the um, the light down just a tad because it's glaring there. That's okay. For free, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what, a do want, what do you want? Hollywood, Holly, Hollywood quality video. That's me rant for the day, by the way, because I ain't got anything else to rant about today. Oh, I was going to ask you if you had a rant. 
no not really it's been quite yeah. you, you know you you, you I, i've been watching you so much that you've rubbed off on me all this like you know <laughs> joyous stuff it's like, like rubbed off you know, like how all, all all this like jolly joyousness is oh. it rubbed <laughs> off on me. oh that's good I, i'm in a place of tranquility tranquility oh listen to that oh and the critters is here Either that or I'm deluding myself. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Pappy Noon is here. Pappy Noun, I think he lives in France. Do you, do you live in France, Pappy? Oh. I know oh. you speak French. Maybe mm. you live in Canada. But he has, um, all his videos are about his uh, farm animals, cute farm mm. animals. Angela Critters, have you ever checked out Pappy Noun's channel? Because she loves animals. That's why her name is Angela Critters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, uh, critters, uh, uh, are particular types of animals, aren't they? Yeah, Angela, tell us what kind of animals you have. Hi, Mystic Unigon. Welcome. Nice to see you. Hi, Mystic. So, I would imagine everybody can see what it is that we're doing this week. Yeah. So, well, yeah. So far, they said the picture's good. All right. So, following on from last week. We did uh, we did a tree, didn't we? We did we did um, Paris and yeah, Eiffel that would have been good for this week. I was just thinking before how that would have been so good, like doing the Eiffel Tower today on Valentine's Day. Oh, <laughs> too bad. Uh, 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 what? Because Paris is considered to be romantic. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's right. I don't think it's the place. I think it's the atmosphere that you create. Right. That makes something romantic. It's just that for some strange re reason, people have gravitated towards like places like Paris. Yeah, I don't know why. And, and, and place, places right. like, in, for example, like in in Italy, I don't know, Venice or something like that, and, and they're considered to be romantic, whereas whereas Barnsley Town Centre in. <laughs> well, I guess it's all in their mind. It can be all in your yeah, mind. Yeah, it is. It's whatever, it, whatever it symbolises for you, it's very personal. I mean, uh, I, 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 could, I could say a very romantic place for me and Mrs Jackson was the very first McDonald's that we met in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Because it's not it's not all wait to go to Paris to be romantic. Yes, it's where it's all in your head where you are. What what's what's sentimental to what, you? What it symbolizes to you, yeah. And yeah. that's important. It is important, of course it is. So anyway, I mean we're getting completely away from the the sorry everybody. We are talking we painted the Eiffel Tower last week. So, so last week we did an Eiffel Tower, but in the foreground there were trees that had uh, cherry blossom in it. Whoops. Right? All pink cherry blossom. So this week we're zooming into one at trees. And we're going to do cherry, we're going to do the cherry blossom, which is round here, and there's a bird in it. That, that's the main feature, but just as a counter, these other things are also strong characters within the painting but in this bit here this triangle up, up at this end there's also a blurred out lot of cherry blossoms so all that top end pink but that because it's in the distance what i'm trying to explain uh, today is um how when you're close up to something that can affect your background if you if you look at things around you and then put your hand in front of very closely in front of your face and focus on on your hand everything that's around it suddenly becomes out of focus and in the in the background and that's what i'm wanting to get you to do on this painting because it's got that level of background and then there's, there's a pin strip here that's a different level of background 
and then another level of background which is slightly closer than that and then we've got this bird in the foreground so it's all about getting your layers right yeah and that will give you then your your sense of real depth so that's okay. what today. two people are asking the same question what kind of paper are you using today today um it's watercolor paper obviously it's uh, well for those of you who've got a, a strange way of speaking bockingford but it, it, uh, the most of the time that um i've ever heard of it it's called bockingford but um it's 300 uh cold press and that's 140 pound uh, in american uh, measurements and it's rough paper that's the texture of the paper rough do you ever paint on hot press no because it's boring uh, it's boring no it's, no it, uh, uh, hot press is for a very specific form of watercolor painting uh, for very high detailed um, illustration and I tend to keep it in that and it just doesn't look right when you paint with it when you do normal standard watercolour painting uh, and you paint on uh, hot press paper it, it all, it's almost like you're painting on card I don't, I don't know it just it just feels really not right to me okay uh, and more often than not it can't because it's uh, hot press paper is more often than not um 90 pound right you can get 140 no, pounds no i can, do hot press paper with 140 yeah, pounds you can get 140 pound but the standard for hot press paper is 90. Yeah. right uh because it's a thinner lighter paper what that means is it can't take as much ammo when you chuck in water on it so it beats so it's i don't know it just it just don't work with watercolor as well as what uh normal standard watercolor paper is and when i say normal standard watercolor uh, a middle range is um 300 or 140 pound uh not uh, cold press that is a standard paper so this is a step up above it well they're saying well web like dreams is saying he he likes oh well, i'm sorry he or she likes the cold press but it's hard to scan but um cold pressing the the, the texture of the paper right is part of the painting itself when you paint on cold pressed paper you're meant to allow that crackliness that texturiness to show through in your painting it's it's part of the charm of the painting so i wouldn't worry about it if you got texture either that or, or lower your gamut down on your on your scanner Okay, there's advice. That, there's a suggestion, web like dreams, for that for scanning then. Because it, 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 fair enough. I mean, it, 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 it can glare up a bit, but it shouldn't really. In fact, later on, I will be scanning this. And mm -hmm. uh, if you've got your, if you've got your scanner set up okay, and you've not got too much brightness on your on your on your scan uh it, it should be fine web like dream says oh nice thank you i'll try that yeah it's either your gamut or or your brightness on your on 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 your settings now you might have to go into pro mode on on your settings to get to them because there's generally a basic mode where it just automatically does it for you and then there's a pro mode where it where you can alter and adjust things 
and you just have to play with it until you get a a nice balance but uh anyway this is not getting us anywhere and it's 17 minutes past already have yeah. we got everybody in now yep we got a lot of people in here <clears throat> how many have we got in are you uh, uh, can you yeah, see uh, 10 Woo! not as many as you had in for your uh, test run yesterday oh my test your test run I know, yesterday, I was holding 12 to 14 people. So, here's my brushes I'm looking at. Really? My big, my big mop brush that I mended. It's it's working fine still. Uh, and uh, another pointed mop, a filbert, and a, a Japanese calligraphy brush. So, this is that's what we're going to be going with. So... First thing, oh yeah, and I tell you what, another thing that we're going to be doing today as well, I'm going to be using that, uh, if I can find it, wherever I put it, wherever I put it, I might not be able to, let's have a look, can't find, oh, where is it, where have I put, it? I, you know, I put it out specifically, my gouache, where is my gouache, where is, oh, it's near, I'll be using that gouache again, because there aren't any watercolour that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that really produce a uh, nice, fluffy, candy floss pink that are light fast. There are plenty of watercolours that do that candy floss pink, but uh, none of them uh, in any way, shape or form uh have any light fastness to them so i don't bother what i do is i get a good light fast red and i put a teeny weeny bit of gouache in it so that's what we're gonna do oh ah, okay only a teeny weeny bit that's if i can open this because i don't know my superpowers are dying on me ah. so i find it really really hard to uh open some of these sometimes Tiny little bit, do you see that? Tiny. Um, I have I was checking out one of our guest channels. Let me see, what are you saying? Let me say tiny little bit of, of gouache, you're saying white gouache, tiny, the tiniest of little bits. And that's gonna be the basis for uh the pink that we're gonna make. So I'm gonna Wet me, uh, wet me brush, and then I'm gonna get. Oh, which one should I go for? Should I go? Should I? Should I go for this slightly more bluey red, or should I go for an orangey red, uh, oh, a cadmium? I don't know which one. Which one do you want, guys? Yeah. Cadmium, or, or slightly more blue or end red? I think. I, don't know. I think a bluey red. I guess. Uh, go on then. I'll go for. Oh, it. I should ask people in the chat. It's too late. I've already started. Okay. So anyway, so I'm gonna get me, get me. Um, see that will make it quite cool. So I'm I'm, I'm filling up and, and getting that all. Like that, and then I'm gonna later, and then I'm gonna pull a little bit of that in. Right. Here we go. Oh, look at that candy floss pink. Oh yeah. Let me see. Candy floss pink, that's what I like. <laughs> right, I'm going to make it really, 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 really wet. Right, that's mostly water now, which is what I want, really. Because the bit that we're going to do first is the very farest background bit. And that you can't see any detail at all. It's just a fuzz. So it's, gonna gonna... Be, it's more muted pink back there. Yeah, it is. In fact, actually, you're right. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's mostly watered this now. I've, I've dipped it more into some more water, and I'm just going to go. And it's, it's, it's round there, that kind of area. Now, just to make it so that it looks a little bit as though, yeah, it is uh, actually, there are bits of that. What I am going to do is add a little 
Should I add a little bit of orangey? No, peachy. Can I? Should I make it peachy? Peachy. A little bit peachy. I guess peachy and pink kind of go together. Yeah. Uh, right now, um, Carolyn wants to know what color bow my e hair is today. Here it is. Oh, well, yeah, she's gone all red on us. And pink. pink that's, that's pink. I, I red, what? red in my jacket. Pink in my bow. There you go. There you so, go, Carolyn. So I've, I've, I've took that color that were in the background originally, and I'm going to wet it again. And I'm going to there, 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 there. There, 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 there. For one last time, I'm going to get a little bit more, a little bit more um, white gouache. I'm going to make that right, right white. Really, really, really. That's that's going to be right. I'm going to, I'm going to take that one away because that's polluted now. Polluted. Polluted. Look, I can use it later, but I'm going to use a nice clean one. Right. Uh, and I'm going to get that uh, white now. I, 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 I'm, there you go. And I'm going to go there, 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 there. Oh, Gus Winner says, I need a bow in that color. I know. I'd love to have a. I have color. I have all different color bows, and I do not have that. What do you call candy floss pink? I do have a orange. I do have that coral. I do have coral. Right. Now that at the moment, I'm, I'm going to bring some. Bring some of that in like that. Right. Here we go. I'm hoping that that's not too strong. Right, let's see if I can dry it off a bit. I might have to put me, um, what they call it on. Me oh pink lightsaber on. Ralph's trucking. Hello. So, I, you guys can't really see this, to be honest with you, but there's all sorts of pink textures in that. When I put the image up later on, you'll see how many different pink textures there are in that. And it's really nice. And with with the very far background, it is more about blends of texture rather than being able to pick anything out and say, oh, that's that object, or that's that object. Really important there. Right? It, 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 it all looks very smooth and you can't see any definable thing in the far distance. So I'm using it. I'm, I'm just trying to do this to uh, quick, quicken the process up. So I've got as much as I can off like that. All right. I'm going to use the... Um, Oh, uh, my pink lightsaber. Just a second, I've got to disconnect things so I can reconnect me. Uh... Oh. Right, where's that? Okay, right, you have a line to it. Thank you, Doc Winner. I oh, thank you, Gracie, too. Thank you, Web Life Dreams. Right. Oh. A second. It's like cable technical issue. Right. Are you ready um, for a bit of... Lucy uh, has a comment for you. What? Uh-huh. She, she said, well, today she's... During the art during the show right now, she's using watercolor pencils. And she says, "I may just do a baby Yoda with my watercolor pencils." Ian, go for it, go for it. Pick out right. Uh, best way to deal with color pencils is any one area. Don't have watercolor. 
I don't, don't know if you know the watercolor pencils. They don't really matter what okay. pencils they are, but the principle is, is don't ever work with more than three pencils at a time on any one area. A, a, a dark version, a mid version, and a light version of that colour that you're working on in that area. And that will that will really simplify the image for you. And it'll help you with your tonal values as well, because it helps you to pick out what's the darks, the mids, the lights. Here we go. Oh, dear, buddy, I don't that song. Oh, dear, buddy, you said you wrote that song about a few of us, a few of us, or mentioned in that song, Old Beer Buzzer, Chalk, Old Beer Buzzer, who's also named Chalk. But it's a bit, oh, old Beer Buzzer, he's a poet, isn't he? Well, yeah, he's, he's a poet, but he likes to write songs sometimes, too. Uh-huh. He dropped a link for the song, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is it a red? I have to listen with earphones. He dropped the link. Can I drop? Can I cop, copy and paste it? Uh, copy. I think I can. The only thing you can't do is play it live. I know. I can't play it live. You copy and paste it. Because it, it, even if someone gave you permission, you yeah. still got all the details. And, and if, if uh, Facebook, uh, not for uh, if YouTube came knocking and said, uh, uh, this is a copy of written song, you'd have to be able to produce some written information to prove right. that you have copyright to it's use permission. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it won't, it won't happen between friends, obviously. But if you were doing it uh, and you were collaborating with somebody, You'd have to make sure that you've got some digital information that proves that you uh, have the right from the copyright owner. Right. And then that's not a, a dispute then, because you've got actual paperwork that says, yeah, that's a legit. I hope people can hear me. Yeah, I can hear that. I wish you could see all the pinks in this. It looks really nice. It's all very soft and candy floss. I know on screen it looks a little bit orangey. I wonder if I could alter um, lighting a little bit. The um, colour. Might make my hands look a bit weird though. Right. I'm going to do a little bit of alteration to lighting. Okay. Okay, thank you, old beer buzzer. I, I copied and pasted it and I'm gonna listen to it later. Um See if I can make it pinker. It's not exposure. Nope. It's the white balance. Right, it's, it's at two 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 zero zero at the moment. What are you talking about? Two 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 zero? See what that's the problem. If if you make it if you make it so the painting's right, it kind of um, makes your hand look like weird. It makes what look weird? It makes your hand look weird, colour wise. If you make the see that's closer to what it is. It's a lot pinker. But it makes your hand look a bit overexposed. Right. 
Uh, okay, then brightness. Is it that? No. Uh, contrast. Here we are. That's better. Can you see pinks now? That's a lot better. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, you notice how it will better now. Notice, you notice how it will like washed out a bit yellowy. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I've made some alterations on me on, on my camera, and these colours should be coming through nice now. So I've, I've took the contrast down a bit. I've, I've nipped the brightness up a little bit, and I've altered the white balance to. Uh, so that it, it matches the uh, light source better so anyway w w that's better i'm happier with that because the whole point of this particular painting is that we see various ranges of uh, color so i'm going to take that off and i'm going to uh, one thing i've not done yet is uh put my picture up Now, uh, now we've done that background, we're going to go for the background leaves, uh, uh, petals, the, uh, the background, you can see kinds of details of them, but um, they're not, it's more like the bunched, it's a bunch of things, so what you need to do then uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to get some of this gouache again. Because there's a lot of very white leafage as well. And I'm not going to be... Pay, I mean, just imagine, like, you're right close up to uh, a lot of uh, little flowers... Now, what would you do? Would you like paint each individual flower? No, I would no. use like like a br a sponge, a sea sponge, and I I go like that, or some kind of brush, and you go like dab it and make like that kind of. You you could do yeah. Um, at, at this level here, just behind the bird, you're not going to see any. You're going to see bits of detail, but not loads of it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll, I'll show you a little uh, trick that I do for distant flowers. Oh, if it if it actually works. So what? Right. I'll, I'll do one elsewhere. Right. Hi, Jen's Wild Bad Art. Welcome. And the, the, these particular, I'm 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 literally just dropping uh, my brush down like that. And here he is, Slee Stack rules. The man, the legend, Slee Stack. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Yes. He's a bit late, so he's gone a little bit down on uh, on on standard. Um, uh, our, our top uh, top fan. Well, he's, he's your he's, fan, really. He's, I mean, what? He's your fan, really, isn't he? No, he's yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, he comes I, to your thing, doesn't he? Um, is is is, is, re is regular at your? Uh, I your no, line. I think he really likes my guest artist. Like he really likes um, well, well, he really likes you and another guest artist that I had. And okay, so, so what, anyway, what here's a comment that I don't understand. He says, what, "What? What we're doing is is creating like a profusion and of um, what uh." I'm literally not doing each individual flower. I'm just letting them all blend into one another like that, just by dabbing. So, Jen, this is something that you'd be interested in because 
we're talking about backgrounds today. Well, listen to what Sleestack said. He says, hi, I'm watching Ian Friday live from Middle Earth. Was he, what do you, do, do you, you know, know what Middle yeah, Earth? I, I, do, I do know what Middle Earth is, yeah. Do you not know what Middle Earth is? No, does it have to do with Star Wars? Well, nearly. You, you live a very sheltered life, don't you? I, I, I no, I don't. No, I don't. So I don't know. Tell me what it means, and then I'll. But I, but I don't know everything about movies. I do have a gap of knowledge middle, about movies. Middle Middle Earth is is the fictional environment of the Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, I totally don't know anything about Lord of the Rings. Didn't follow it. No, I don't suppose everybody. Just out of, I knew it existed, but I chose not to wa watch it or read it because it didn't seem to interest me. Really? Yes. I would have thought you'd have been into uh, that kind of stuff. Well, maybe I should give it a shot. Maybe I never. Yeah. I I forget if I even tried to um follow it. But, well, the thing is, that you're into like whimsical stuff, and that's it, it's I like ninety nine point nine percent whimsical. whimsical art. I don't really like whimsical movies that much. I like whimsical art though. I, well, I, you, you, know, you like you, you like fairies and and mm -hmm. unicorns and things like that and mythological animals and so I mean that film is basically all about mythological animals. No, I, I don't like mythological animals that much. You like whimsy, though, don't you? <laughs> yes, sir. And there's different kinds of whimsical. There is. I've got. Well, I've maybe got I, to I try to give Lord of the Rings a, a shot. Maybe I try to give it a, a chance. No, you don't need to. We're not obliging anybody to lean into any cultural ideology at all so we start it, 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 i don't know how many coats this oh, will what? take actually what uh, now we're talking my... about now oh, we're no. talking about culture everybody's probably going i don't know making a cup of tea or something <laughs> hi madonna hi jct and, hi madonna nice to see you yeah okay and jen's wild about art said she said she did her first Twitch stream today and she said it was fun and she only got four hours of sleep last night. So I've, yeah, I've never even visited Twitch, but congratulations on, okay, you had fun doing your first Twitch stream. Okay. That was, mm. that, so that's okay. good. Never done a Twitch stream. I, I have been on Twitch, but um, no, I don't know. I've never even I, been I went on, on it. I, I went on it and I just didn't understand the, arrangement to it all and i kind of like moved on yeah. i thought i've already i've already got enough platforms to deal yeah, with yeah i feel like that too um i feel like i have but, enough platforms uh, right so that's nearly this this second i might have to come back on that one but there are some uh, th th this layer of almost uh, uh like uh, layer of what do they call it blossom uh, that you can almost see detail that's a layer there but there's a little bit here down here as well M mystic unigon says twitch is so much better for streaming just do you well, i mean mystic unigon do you mean for gaming streaming it's better for gaming streaming I don't know. I was told that it were really slow and um, uh, not really. It, I don't know. Thing is, I don't really stream. Uh, I, I put videos up on YouTube, but I don't stream. It says here, who's actually streaming at this moment? But then again, it's not me. I'm just. I'm. I'm. Uh, uh, I'm. Uh, what they call it? I'm. Uh, just riding on someone else's stream. Jen, I have a question about, well, and also Mystic Unigon, you know about Twitch. So, don't, Jen, you said it was your first time on streaming on Twitch. Doesn't it, don't you have to have, uh, how did you get followers so fast to watch you?
Jen says she's an artaholic. Well, it's not, uh, th 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 there's an awful lot of other things in life that you could be with. It's a lot worse than being an artaholic. Mm -hmm. An awful lot worse. Yeah. 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 It's a creative thing. People get a lot of joy out of it. You can give people a lot of joy from it. Yeah. So as long as you keep it in context with the rest of your life, then there's nothing really bad about it. In saying that, there were some famous artists who were absolutely 100% obsessed. Uh, uh, with the artistic yeah. create artistic creativity, whether that did them any good or not, I don't know. But um, I, I wonder sometimes whether it can uh, close you into a bubble of, uh, you know, that that's your life and that's all you do. I, I don't know. Uh, and then you miss out on other forms of creativity. Otherwise. Because like we keep saying, just because you don't do painting or drawing or art in a visual sense, it don't mean to say that you're not an artist. She Jen says you do so, start zero out at Twitch, but she had a she had a couple YouTube buddies that also are at Twitch. So for me, mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh gosh, why why want I don't want to start over at zero again. So I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is is getting some areas of slightly contrasted uh, magenta in there, just to show that the, it's it's not just one mass blob. And I'm encouraging that to bleed into various different bits, but I don't want to do that too much because I don't want it to just turn into a a splodge. Okay. I don't know if people can see the bird. Can you see? It's a bird on cherry blossom branches. Right. I'm not be long before I'm uh, done with this section. Then we can start getting on on to the main. It's just a little bit involved this this particular this particular part of the uh, background. And if you want that realism, you've got to make sure that you get your background right. Now, one thing I do want to do this this area at the top here that I've created that's got this edge. I do want that edge, but I don't want it that crisp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, water and I'm going to nip the edge away. It didn't dry. It didn't dry too much, so you can you're still able to do that with water. Well, you can do this particular technique when when it is dry, because all I'm doing is nipping the edge out like that, so that it's it it, it, it in certain areas called lost and found edges right I'm not, doing, I'm not doing it everywhere it's just just to give it a, and it's more appropriate the farer you get away the 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 the, the, the nearer you are the less there's going to be lost and found edges so it contributes towards that fading into the background yeah so that's that's okay. a trick you can pick up that's a trick you can pick up for um getting your backgrounds right and i think that's his background done so again i'm just gonna like nip some of these edges out web like dream says yes that's what she loves about watercolors up oh, thought it jumped on me uh oh gosh where is it well, I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna use me uh, appropriately pink mm -hmm. lightsaber. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, hold on, Diana, you don't necessarily have to be there. This comes to point those of us who, oh, okay, to do it. I need a people of viewer average to get, to get affiliate, to make money. Everything else I need for that is done. Wow. Then, Oh, Mystic, send me, um, we're, we're friends on instant, on instant Messenger. Give me a link. Send me a link in Instant Messenger. Okay, give me your, give me your Twitch link in Instant Messenger. Hey, um, if you're going to do Yoda, why don't you come on and do it? Oh, yeah. She she said after her birthday, and her birthday has passed because her birthday was end of January, uh, she said she would start trying to come on panel. I mean, that's if if you if you've got the equipment to do it, obviously, we don't want to um, burden you financially with getting equipment that you know you may not necessarily use. Well, she do, she does live streaming on Twitch, though. But, uh, can she do? Draw? No, but all you need oh, is a mobile. All you need is a mobile phone. Oh yeah, live stream right. Uh, especially for things like Twitch. Can't play the channel right now. Oh, what do I do? Because I think that I think the requirement to get monetized is much lower and easier to meet that on YouTube. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, web like dreams, it's probably right. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And Jen, Jen just followed Mystic on Twitch. Uh, like Twitch. Oh, well, I don't know if you, okay, Jen, I'm sorry. I don't know if you meant Twitch or YouTube. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, and you don't know how to get StreamYard on your phone. Oh, yeah. The, um. No, 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 you don't need StreamYard on your phone. I just send you a link. I send you a link and you should be able to, I send you a link and you should be able to follow, and you follow the link. It's, it's easy. Mm -hmm. You follow the links. All the prompts are just easy prompts. You don't need to have StreamYard on your phone, like no app or anything. No. I just, right? And I just send you a link and you, and you follow the prompts to, to get here on the panel. That's all. You don't need a, you don't, right? You don't, she doesn't No, need you don't need to be signed up to you. To, to them no not to become uh, a panel yeah uh, uh, as, a, as a guest you can you only need to be signed up to them if you're going to use oh. stream yard yourself yeah that's right and it's free anyway so um right you don't need to get stream yard on your phone okay that's what we're saying all right so um all i no, would I'm, do i'm just going to i think they had another thing too she said she doesn't have. She does not have her cam right. She, I can't set up my cam right now. Well, I mean, you don't have to come on today. I'm on about at some I point. Cam right for here. Yeah, maybe think about it for me a, a future Friday or another day. Mhm. Mm so I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> no, Web like Dream says I would love to be a a guest once I start streaming. Oh. Well. So long, as long as you know how to actually set up at your end, it's easy. Oh, uh, so if you have under a thousand subscribers, oh yes, Web Like Dreams does have under a thousand subscribers. Since you have under a thousand subscribers, you, yes, you you can't stream your from your phone. Oh no, wait a minute, no, you can't. No, no, you can't stream from your phone. Yeah, but I'm you can come, you can be fresh a guest. water. No, you can be a guest. In a bit. You can be a guest on my channel through your phone. Through your phone, you can be a guest on StreamYard through your phone. Is that correct? 
I think so. Because you're not streaming yourself. Well, maybe I could double check that with Ian if he knows for sure. Web like dreams. Um, yeah, you don't have to have started streaming to be a, to be a guest on the panel of a stream yard. Right. JCT confirms that because she has under a thousand. Yeah, she has under a thousand subscribers and she is on a guest on. She's been a, for many months. She's been a guest on panels of many different channels. And yes, you can. Right. So you can have under a thousand subscribers and use your phone. Use your phone to to come on panel on StreamYard. Yes, you can. J JCT just confirmed that. Right. Thank you. Because she does that. Oh, you, may, you might have to wait till you move out of there, Miss Nick. Oh, okay. So, this is, this is the interesting bit. Now that's all dried. Uh, we start getting the bird in and once we've got the bird in we can like finish it off uh, by getting tonal values that are in keeping with the bird how about that for an idea Woof. ian you've done it again <laughs> oh i did it again you Sorry. did what again <laughs> in I, don't know. Oh. I don't know i just had a britney, britney spears moment what's that mean Oh, you mean, a, you mean a, a, mal, a wardrobe malfunction? No, no, that was somebody no. else. No. I, I just sung, I just sung, oh, I did it again. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, that's, that's a, I had a moment of Britney Spearsness. Oh, that's funny. There you go. Right, so first thing I'm going to do, uh, most of the bird, right, uh, Although to start with, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a really creep some light yellows, right, and and then go for a, a slightly more um, yellow ochre feel, but I want I want this to be dryish. So we have a comment. We have a comment. Uh huh. Web like, that, Web like Dream says, the background is looking lovely, Ian. Thank you. So, uh, right, I'm not explaining this very well. Uh, light is coming from that kind of direction. Okay. So this, this side is going to be a lot lighter than that side, yeah? That's all we need to know about light, really, today, because we're not concentrating on it. I'm gonna show the areas that are that side are gonna be a lot more on the lighter end, the warmer, and the areas on the other side, uh, just as an example. Let's see if I can uh, make a, a nice brownie color. Brownie, brownie color. Yeah, I'll put that in. Yeah, that, that seems to be a strange year. Mm. It's going to be like that. A mystic, I have a question. You're saying Discord, is Discord a platform that you have to stream on their platform? Or are you saying I could put my, vi I could promote my videos on Discord? I would imagine you could, yeah. Why not? Well, I yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if I, I can share. I can share my YouTube videos on Discord, or is Discord a, a platform in itself that you have to use their platform for their for publishing videos? Oh, she said you can promote on there. Okay, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. 
But then you have, get, you have to get followers on Discord. Who on Discord? Is it is it owned by either Google or uh, uh, Facebook or anything like that? I, I don't know. You, you know, Mystic. Oh, is it a completely independent company? Oh, Jen says, yes, I link my YouTube videos through Discord. Oh, Jen, d d and then does that mean you have a you have to you have to you have to cultivate a bunch of followers on Discord? So what I what I am doing is being very careful not to go around. There's a flower there, and I don't want to work around that. Well, I want to work around it. So I do not to. You can join art groups. Yeah, I, I, uh, on on um, what they call it, what we're on about. Um, I tried looking for art videos, and they just I don't know. It just didn't seem as though there were any on it. On what Discord? No, not Discord. On um, what we were talking about earlier. Really? On Twitch. On Twitch, yeah. Oh yeah, somebody else was just saying that they in here they were saying that they could they it was hard for them to find art art live stream or something. Yeah, it was really hard. Well, I found it was anyway. Hmm. That bit of the back of the egg has a. Oh, it's nice. Oh. Okay, thank so we're just you. Get, we're, we're just getting the underpainting of the birding at the moment. I'm trying not to uh, ignore you guys. Oh, okay, Jen. I get it. Okay. A little bit of uh, orange there. And then we're going to let that dry. And then, uh, uh, so mostly, oh, on you. On YouTube, it's like going fuzzy, and then it's getting fuzzy. And like you were saying, you can't. There's nothing you can do about that, can you? No, there isn't. I mean, to be honest with you, that's because uh, of your bandwidth. It is. It's my bandwidth. So there's, there's little or nothing I can do about that. Some some weeks. That's are better why I, I mean that's that, that. Well, it, it all depends on what bandwidth they're providing to me because they keep saying it's a constant thing but uh, I've not seen any evidence to prove that that's the case yeah. some weeks are better than others and you can see it really clear on YouTube but this is um not one of those weeks at first it was just, you can see clearly you're drawing and then, but then I keep forgetting it for you. if I look at my laptop I'm looking on StreamYard yeah. when I look at my iPad the that's thing is I have to I have to constantly I, I, um, if I'm to do this in time, I have to concentrate on actually doing the uh, okay. painting. I, ca I can't really look at the. I'm sorry, all, but uh, sorry, sorry everybody. I, I, I have to, I have to look at this. All oh, right, Jen said yes. You've gone all pixelated. I think that just happened recently. I don't know because there's nothing I can do to yeah, make it any can do better. The bandwidth. It's not his camera. Sorry, I, I guess it's just happened. Um, I mean, if 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 you were here on 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 um, on Streamyard with us and you could see it, you'd see what it looks like. It, it's YouTube. They restrict the uh, certain bandwidths. They restrict the quality of the video, live video, and that's the reason why I don't do it. Oh, okay, yeah. It's it's nothing to do with anybody else because that image, as you can see. On on Streamyard is crystal clear, so it's definitely it's their software that they use to 
uh, crunch video down. Yeah, something to do with YouTube, crunch, how they crunch video. But then again, I could improve that by having a better bandwidth. But then again, I haven't got that money. And at the end of the day, they're not necessarily going to come all the way to where I am and uh, dig a great big hole in the road just to put band, broadband down for me. They're not going to do it. They've got to get so many customers. And it, kind um, of, and it varies from week to week. Unless... It, well, it, I don't know. I, I don't know. It shouldn't do if it's a digital system. It should. I might be wrong. Okay, I might be wrong about that. And if I'm like, I'm because I'm not paying it. To, I have to be more aware of like, yes, when I'm looking oh, at the no. laptop, I'm looking at StreamYard, and when I'm looking at my iPad, then I'm looking at YouTube. And it could be that it doesn't vary. I'm just okay. So never mind. Well, I, I don't know. It may do. I, I, I've seen it. I, I've looked at the videos after. And it, it does go in and out. Yeah. But the, honestly, there's no, honestly, if, if it were up to me, I wouldn't be doing this because I, I don't I do not like being on uh, a video that's live that you can't see the picture. Oh. It's really annoying. Um, that's the reason why I do not do lives. Ah. Oh. But for your sake, I'll, I'll, for your sake, I shall come on and suffer the consequences. Because unfortunately, what it does do is people look and go, "Oh, look at picture. Oh, amateur, don't watch him again." You know what I mean? So maybe we get, maybe we have to chat about that later. Well, that I mean, that goes for everybody. It, it, I mean, one of my pet annoyances on. On, on on videos is is when people are doing a tutorial then all of a sudden they're scrambling around after equipment and all you can hear is crunchy 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 crunch like that and think oh come on get your, if you know that what you were doing have your equipment out ready and only use that equipment uh-huh that's it you're not here for a merry-go-round you're here to teach people how to do a particular thing and That's, spend half an hour. That's your rant, right? Kind of a rant, but it, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a rant. It, it, it's it's common sense. If you're going to do a particular, if you've got a if you've got a a thing in mind that you're doing, and you know what it is that you're doing, you should have your equipment there on hand and go. Done. That's that. That's for that. That's for that. Boom. Done. And then you're not wasting anybody's time. Because, to be honest, I, uh, my rant of the day, and I've got a rant of the day, and, and I've left it till now, because I've just remembered. Uh, I, I switched, you know, just so that I can help give people uh, an income you know, off of YouTube. I've, I've switched my um, advertising back on. So uh, adverts come on now again. And guess yeah. what happens? Guess what happens? Why? They come on and they're on ten minutes long, and they have, they have, a, a, a ten minute, a, a ten minute advert. You can skip uh, it and it can still make. No, money. you can't. It, no, they've I, got, they've absolutely got rid of it. They've got rid of this. The, 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 there used to be a button. I do. Uh, no, I can still access. I still have skippable. I just well, didn't say maybe it. you, maybe you do, but there's no skipping of any videos now. Well, uh, I, it, it really, I still have the capability of skipping ads. So, so th the only way I can skip an ad is by switching them off completely, which is not, not 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 it, it's it's not it's not fair to those who rely on uh, adverts for their. Well, yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, adverts and in, it's causing more problems commercialization of of youtube is the worst thing that's ever happened to youtube oh it's been like that for a long time though right i know but there's a balance to be had and, and it's it's all commercialized now 
and, and it's total focus commercialized you, you just i mean look look how many people like moan about it when when the when copper happened and everybody said oh we're going to lose 90 percent of us income off it look i'm doing this i do videos on a weekly basis at the same level as those people right and i get zero pounds zero pence off of youtube so you know get real guys it's not a money-making environment and if you try making it a money-making environment it, oh. it's going to be it's going to be hard for you I know that the um, bigger YouTubers, they don't, they only get us, they just, the AdSense is just a small portion of their income. Yeah, they, get, it, they get more income from other it, things. It, than it, 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 it's, about, it's about creating income streams. Uh, yeah, that's, more, oh, that's, that's away income, from YouTube. Multiple income streams. Yeah, multiple income streams. And that means not necessarily always being on the internet. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, that's how most artists work. They've got bits of the income coming in off of, um, off the of internet, drip feeding it, and then they've got bits of income from outside private work. And then, yes, that's right. And, um, oh, yeah, their own business. Like, the same for if you're not in their own business. Artist, and artist, like artist. Anybody who's a genuine, a genuine commercial creative artist will have several income streams. Yes, even non, non artists that are bigger YouTubers often use youtube to help promote their business whatever their business might be digital marketing or some other kind of business yeah so so i i, I come on and i just want to watch a, a particular youtube video for 10 minutes to learn how to do something and i've got to watch 20 minutes worth of adverts and half you know two or three times within that advert it'll stop put a video put an advert on that, I mean, I had one on this afternoon for women's uh, hairdressing tools. <laughs> what the is, hell do I want them for? They're supposed to be personalized ads. They they have to get to know you because they're gonna. They're supposed to be oh, personalized I, 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 ads. I've been on YouTube for five years now. I'm, I'm sure they know that I'm a bloke. But you turned off your ad. You turned it off so for a while. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. It's a boatload of rubbish. And I can't understand why the, 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 the more interested in that. advert revenue than they are the people who, this, who are content creators. That's plainly obvious. And I mean, I mean I'm still in a review period as to whether I'm going to be uh, continuing on for much longer with it. Web like dreams. Oh, oh my. OMG, the bird is beautiful. Oh, uh, web like says I love all. She loves all those warm brown colors. Oh, and well, Jen says I'm. Let's just. I'm gonna read the chat for a little bit, just for a minute. Jen's wild about art says I'm doing it because I love what I do. Exactly. Then, and, that, and I that, want to share. And then web like dream says yes. If you can get paid doing what you love, that is great. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. Then, and it says yes, Jen. It's. Uh, Jen, yes, it's okay now. Listen, I, I, I do I do uh, wedding photography, all right, as a as a as a main job, right? It's, it's on and off that it's on and off because it's seasonal. Seasonal. But, well, it is. How many people get married in middle of winter? Well, some people that, do. That, not some dark. people do, but I can assure you, vast majority don't. No. I, uh, I, 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 I can tell you almost exactly to the date. Uh, where the majority of people get married, and it, late May through June, to end, June, end of August uh, is uh, your peak period. And June is a big month, right? It is. Everybody wants to get married in June and July. 
and that's why everything gets crammed in and that's why that's why people pay a lot of money for photographers because they end up having to do like two and three jobs in it you know what i mean it's like wow it's it's, it's high pressure but there you go that's something that i love doing photography and i get paid oh, for it did you see what do you because it's related to um did you see it's related to weddings photography is did you see do you know what uh oh i forget her name she's the other artist and um staff staff and they oh still yeah 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 and she do you know what she does she she paints at weddings can you believe yeah, that yeah, I, I have, I have, uh, there's, a, there's a guy i forget his name but he comes on quite regular on youtube and, and that's what he does he paints at weddings it's the first time I'd ever seen that anybody do that when I saw her videos. I've not actually ever seen anybody do it live at a nope. wedding. No, nope. but uh, I know that people do. They have them in background. It's a bit like having a, a small orchestra in background. You know, something interesting to look at while you're there. It's a bit of, bit of ornamentation. Yeah, you, know I mean? you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, but, but I know. That, 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 uh, uh, not that I'm being disrespectful to people in pain. It's a bit like entertainment. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, it's a part of the uh, atmosphere of the night or the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, some people. Uh, one I went to last year, they had these photo booths. You know, like those Polaroid photo booths. Uh, uh, and what they did is they brought a load of like silly costumes. And, and you could like go in the photo booth with your mate and have your photo took in silly costumes and that's part of entertainment for night and i thought that were really funny that showed the people who were having the wedding had a bit of a sense of humor that it weren't all very very formal and all that kind of stuff but I'm very informal in my wedding. I, 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 I've got to say I've done quite a few weddings of a, of a period in my lifetime. And uh, I, I prefer one that's informal and laid back. If, if you have it too organised and arranged, it can become a, an incredible burden. There, there's some uh, technical information for any of you ladies who are wanting to get married. Keep it nice and simple. That's what we did. Yeah. That's what me and Mrs. Jackson did. <laughs> all, 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 un, all nice and informal and, and, and not trying to push boat out. We're, oh, we're going to have this and we're, we're going to have a Rolls Royce come and pick us up and do all that rubbish. Not, and, you know, all that. spend way too much money on a wedding. The, 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 oh, month, the amount of money they spend is how much money they should save for a house. Do you know what? Totally uh, like, uh, uh, this is this is in the inflated. In uh, this is the inflated um, environment that we live in today. But me and because uh, uh, I mean, relatively, me and my wife only got married in the last few years. But um, I think we, in total, uh, we absolutely everything we spent about three thousand pounds. And that included getting venue and everything. And that, that were a, 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 a proper sit down meal uh, for a hundred people. Really? That's what we didn't have yeah. anybody. Our, we were smaller and bit more simple than you. We had no guests. Oh, I had to have guests because my family uh, no, would have been opposite. World War 10 in it with me. Okay, we okay. we were opposite with my my family was too elderly and and no, to no. attend and his and he, and plus my husband just didn't want that and and his his family we don't hardly have it our I hardly he doesn't have a big family and um, no. my family my parents were out I mean my mother was too elderly to go anywhere and mm -hmm. I don't have brothers and sisters and so whatever so no big deal we i couldn't have hardly invited that many people anyway i would have had to be oh, like 
Oh yeah, come on over. Like my friend, like coworkers, like yeah, we'll come to my well, wedding. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd be in, 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 in America, it's a bit different because when when you're talking about your family's coming over, you're sometimes talking about several thousand miles. Not oh, man. Right. So we had a destination wedding. A destination wedding. That means we went to, you can either go to the Caribbean and get married on the beach. You could go to this, that. We went to Las Vegas. Viva! We Las Vegas. Vegas. Of the world. You, didn't, you didn't go in that Elvis thing. And no, we did, but Elvis. we chose not. No, yes, we did get married in the Graceland Chapel, but we chose not to be married by Elvis. We didn't want to be married by Elvis. Oh. We got married by a minister. How, how dare you blaspheme against Elvis? How can you go into Elvis thing and not be married by Elvis? I don't I didn't want to. It's like, it, it, it's like going up to Emperor Palpatine and saying, I'm, uh, I want to be a dark Sith Lord, but I don't want to be yeah. your friend. They gave us the choice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Gus Winna said she had a rented wedding dress in 1977. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't rent one, but I, I bought mine online and it was. And actually, because I'm petite, I'm pretty short, and hemming it costed costed more cost more than the the wedding dress itself. Well, one of my friends got married a couple of weeks before me, and 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 uh, she uh, bought one for like an hundred pound from from China. That's what I, I did. Did you? <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, don't get one, don't. Oh, it's most important. Actually, I bought three of them. I bought three of them. And, uh, was it? No. I bought three of them so that I could pick the one I, I like would know and I could see it in person and stuff. Because, and um, well, the other two, they were totally um, their sizing was totally miss. I was able to get my money back yeah, on on two of them because they 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 totally misrepresented. The sizing, and I was able, and I was able to get my money back through the credit well, card. Because that that, that might be that might be down that might be down to the fact that uh, American sizes are completely different. No, uh, no, no. There was something else. No, no, no. What they what they said? No, because a lot of times they'll tell you on Chinese charts. They'll say, "No, this is this is the size, and this is it," and they let you know, like they're correct. They're saying this is going to be American sizes. This Chinese size is usually much smaller. But it was total mm -hmm. misrepresentation what this what this company actually did what, they, they, they sent the completely wrong thing no the thing that they sent was smaller than what they said it was going to be right so that's what happened i mean on two uh, of them i mean on on uh, one or two of them and then and then i i kept one of them that that actually had a lace-up corset so it didn't matter that you couldn't you, there right. was no zipper yeah. would have never well um of course we with stuff like that uh, um and i know how, how uh, I, i'm not being sexist in this way but i know how we, how when you go shopping with women uh how how very uh stressed out they get about the exact right size for anything that they're wearing right so uh, I've been with my wife and, and she's seen a nice dress and she goes, oh, it's my size. And then she, she comes out and she's crying and going, oh, no, it don't fit me. And I'm thinking, well, is it your size? You know what I mean? So, so we said, we said he rented out medieval times to get married. He says we were the first ones. I guess Medieval? Yeah, I guess he got met, married in a medieval kind of theme. Castle. Is there any castles in Slee Stackville? Slee Stackville. Um, well, I don't know exactly where Slee, Slee Stack comes from. Is it? Slee Stackville. Do I Slee Stack is you it, live in Slee Stack, you live in Slee Stackville, right? <laughs> where is it? Is it where in America is that? Do you have any castles in America? Oh, yeah, I think park, right? yeah, I think we do, but Oh, in Disney, I definitely we do. Well, oh, that's not a it's cardboard cutter. It's not a real one. How many oh, battles have been fought there? I think we have castles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a castle that's near us. Castle Grayskull. An hour away. <laughs> we actually an hour away from us. There is a kind of it's a small castle that a, this artist 
tile, ceramic tile maker, and then oh, right. now it's, that, now well, it's Arabian tile works, and it's a they make handmade tiles, and he started it, and he his house actually oh yeah that's right because I did a, I had a tour of his house he made he created his house as a, in the replica of a castle. Yeah, well that's what we call a folly. Yeah, it, no real castle. It, it, people it's not a like real castle. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a it, it's a rep, it's a replication of uh, a particular period of time. Not uh, a long a time ago. He did it, he, I mean, he did yeah. it a long. He he had it built a long time ago. Very long. I mean, well, no, it, it were it were very popular at certain times to reproduce medieval architecture. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it still is or not, but um, right. Oh, the bird is wonderful. See, it's not overly detailed, though, is it? All I've done is, like, uh, layered, slowly but surely layered, um, fairly big. Um, what they call it? I'm going to let that dry for a bit because I'm going to do a tiny bit of dry brushing over it, not a lot. And then we're going to finish off by doing the foreground flowers. But they're talking about grace and then web like dream says oh my god castle gray skull i don't know hey, just on, just on just on the subject of castle gray skull uh, i am told that um the making a new um masters of the universe e-man and the masters of the universe uh real life film so 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 my sources tell me uh, Web Lake Dream says, Ian, you are the master of layering, if I say so myself. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's only through years of uh, practicing. So. Hi, Lisa B. Welcome to the, mm. the live painting art stream. Um, right, I'm going to put some more. Um, I'm going to run out of this gouache if I don't. It's very rare I use gouache. But... Oh, well, you have to listen to what Sleestack said. He said they opened an hour early, medieval times or whatever. They opened an hour early and we got married outside of the torture chamber. Yay! Some people <laughs> would get married in the torture chamber. <laughs> well, why not? It's an interesting part of the room. Lisa, Lisa wants to know what you're painting today. He is painting. A certain certain kind of a thrush, a bir the bird is a thrush. Is that it's right? Like, it's like yeah, it's like a. I mean, it's not the key. Part, I don't know. It, uh, a bird in it, cherry it, blossom it, branches. It, 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 it's, a, it's a bird in cherry blossom uh, branches. Yeah, but it, it, it by no means is the absolute key part of the painting. The cherry blossom is just as interesting a part of the painting. It, it dominates the majority of the page. So anyway, so I'm 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 mostly working quite white here. Oh, Carolyn, welcome back. She said, at least it's not Cassidy. At least it's not what's this? At least it's not Cassidilly Rock Castle what? from Game of Thrones. Do you know what I've got to say? I, I know that I was getting on it. Uh, uh, Diana for not being interested in certain popular cultures and things like that, you know, like Star Wars and films and things like that. But it's something I've never watched. What? Game of Thrones. Well, well you can tell. You can be sure I didn't either. <laughs> it's not that I, I probably... I mean, the thing is, at the end of the day, the, the the bad thing about Game of Thrones is it's it's on a pay to view channel, and I'm not paying to view when I've already paid to view on me. In Britain, we have to pay for a TV license, right? And there's no way I'm paying for another license for watching TV. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Stuff it. I don't care. It's least that girl says he get he. He they sent photographers to film them for more weddings because they were the first ones to to be to um get married there. Oh, oh, first 
what to ever be allowed to get married there. No, to be know? married at this, I guess this this uh, venue called Medieval Times. It, I guess it's mm -hmm. a place where they have um, Renaissance oh. fairs. Probably they have Renaissance fairs there. Mm hmm. I would imagine so. Oh, so, Mystic, you thought that she could care less about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm not dishing it. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. I probably oh, watch it. Said, but it's, just, it's, it's just. It, it's just. Um, one, I've not got time to watch TV that much. When have I got? To, I'm, on, I'm on here all day. Okay, so we understand it's Valentine's Day. Sorry. Yeah. Um, say that. Hey. I he says he has to run because he has to get his wife something and I just remembered it's Valentine's Day so I said yeah I, oh yeah I go yeah I get, you're right it's Valentine's Day you got to get run and he says he has to get his wife something right and then, well, and then, then I remember yeah right it's Valentine's Day of course I the way to test us <laughs> right where am I, I, I I'm I, I'm Going into a little bit of an emergency mode now. Okay, I'm getting me. Oh, getting me uh, says that the bird, your bird, your painting. She says it looks like a sparrow in the Netherlands. Well, well they might call it. That's uh, maybe what what they call them in. Uh, I don't know what bird it is, but it looks to me like a thrush. Now, what what they call them in the Netherlands, I don't know. That might that might be the equivalent, but a sparrow is uh, in the UK is a much smaller bird, like a tree sparrow or a house sparrow. Oh, so Mystic Unicorn said she was watched episode one of Game of Thrones, and she says it was full of incest. And then um, Lisa B says, "Well, that's how it was back then." But insects. Why is everybody like that? Insects or insects. No, insects. Like like people uh, within the family. Yeah. Well, being, um, being intimate with each other, either that or getting uh, married or whatever. Uh, well, uh, that did that did happen in amongst aristocracy because that kept the bloodline intact. Oh, that ruined. Then wouldn't that ruin their bloodline? No, it it, it weren't brother and sister. Oh, it it were like cousins. And it would, to, it would to, like, like, for example, like a princess in England might marry a German cousin who was a oh. prince in Germany, and that that created alliances, and that's what they used to do. It 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 weren't anything to do with the love one another. It was to do with creating power bases. Yeah, and that's what they did. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it's right or not, point Lisa says, you were you weren't sure what word I was saying, and she says, "Well, full of insects too." Yeah, well, that period of history did have a lot of insects, like midges, and not that we haven't got lots now. We have, and but, it did lead to many birth defects. Yeah, of course it could. I, I don't know whether it would do between cousins. Because I think that's far enough removed hmm. for the yeah, chromosomes to be different. Yeah. That's why it's not necessarily illegal. I don't think it is, I don't know. Well, it's supposed uh, to be illegal like, among first cousins, but I, I, I don't, don't know, know if second and third sure. cousins is okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the law is, but it's always best to steer away from Mary. Just think, back in back in ancient times, right, uh, if you lived in an isolated tribe, and only people you would ever met are people in your tribe. There's every likelihood that you probably will have married and had kids to some somebody who were, uh, you know, fairly closely related to you. That's the way it were. I guess so. Not that I'm saying that's right or wrong. Like if if you kept if you kept interbreeding uh, within your own family, then yeah, of course there's going to be defects. Look what happens with dogs when they're interbred. 
uh, uh, in a very specific way. Like pugs, for example, they always have problems with breathing. Oh, with breathing. Yeah, they go, <gasps> you, you, you speak to anybody who's got a pug and see whether they've not got breathing uh, problems. Oh, yeah. It, uh, one of my, one of, one of my friends used to have uh, a pug, and uh, we started calling it Darth Vader. Oh, Jen's back! Welcome back, Jen. She says, "Wow, the bird's looking fabulous." Thank you. So I'm just getting a bit of a branch in here because it's got to, it's got to it's got to like. Uh, be able to sit on something so so it is there it is it's got a, and, and i'm not I, I'm, I'm not making a big deal of it because i don't want it to be something that catches your eye too much yeah and odd occasional that i have a, i have this thing about like um creating one focal point a lot of times i'm like wait i'll create different parts of it, sections of a picture and i'm like well wait a minute is that catching too much of attention is that catching and then yeah. and then i i'm not sure and i end up liking these different sections and i'm thinking i don't know are they competing with each other um, it depends on you well some might say that if you if you're putting it in the um you know in the magic thirds you know the, yeah. the lines that right. um you can have multiple focal point oh, you, in a picture oh, oh yeah wait a minute but I you think just I, got to, you, you've got to compose it in a place that's right in the as, as long as you put it in the those quadrants yeah, the, yeah those quadrants of thirds and things like that now i mean i mean that's fairly complicated um oh and then i've heard like okay you got you could have a primary focal point and then you could have secondary focal points yeah I mean, it all depends on how big the actual focal point is in the actual your image itself. It, I mean, it, it, I might have a, a cityscape, but a bridge uh, in front as a focal point. To lead, what what does that focal point do for you? Does it lead you into the painting? Is it the is it the rest of the painting that leads you into the focal point? You got to think about all these things before you paint it, mm -hmm. and then you're able to uh, assess what needs to be done. I mean, that that's me. What about what about you guys? How 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 do you guys resolve that issue? At in uh, on the. Um, you know, you guys out there. Yeah, what's the the question is having multiple focal points? Is it okay to have multiple focal points? And if so, how do you resolve it and make the image um, make the image coherent so that not just one part of the painting is overly dominating? Because I'd love to know the answer to that one. I'm not saying there isn't an answer to it. It's just I, I I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd like to know. I'd, I thought I'd you like said the answer is having it being on those thirds, the line. Those. Yeah, that well, that's one way. Of, that's one way of uh, potentially uh, doing it. But it, not all paintings work to that particular standard. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Jen, uh, welcome back, Jay Z. Okay, hold on. Oh, Jen says, I don't tend to have, hold on. I don't tend to have a central focus, but that comes from years of portraits. Yeah. Oh, JC, the kind of bird it is is a thrush. I mean, uh, this particular type of thrush may not exist in, in the Americas. It might be a European bird. 
Lisa B, <laughs> I like multiple focal points because then it's not stale and boring. Gus Winna says, yes, I think so. It's something that your eye, your eye will see. I mean, some people might say, well, uh, let uh, paint it averagely and, and let the viewer find the focal point. Oh. JCT says, very nice painting. Oh, we're starting to get there. You're not painting with white, are you? Uh, no. I've, I've, um, you know. Why? That's that's the kind of silly question because I didn't think I didn't think you would. No. I I, I, I do use water to remove certain bits, like I'm oh. doing there. Oh, okay. Softening, softening up certain areas. Uh, but what I want to concentrate on is um, these uh, getting rest of these pinky foreground flowers in. Wow. Getting a bit of definition there. I wonder if I need to uh, go back to. Because all, all, there's one flower that's in front of the actual bird. Don't know if you can see it there. So, what we need to do is to try and tease it out, make it pop out a bit. I try not to use that expression pop out why 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 wouldn't you i don't know because yeah. it's it semi frowned upon that expression what to say pop to say like i pop this in and i pop this in uh I, I don't know i don't know why it is but no no in australia they say that all the time jen says it all the time <laughs> i'm not saying that it's wrong it's just that in in, 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 in certain fields they don't it, people get a bit annoyed with using of the word it's probably because it came up from uh people who were amateurs and became popular and, and people who were not amateurs uh who were like who like to use big long fluted latin words for for every expression uh, get annoyed because because it's not come from some great latin expression uh, it, it's it's snobbery, really. JCT says she loves that bird. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to do much more on it now because it's Jen says to say, it pop it in, pop this in, and pop that in. She goes, "That's just Australian slang." No, I, I've I've heard it said in in all sorts of English language. Uh, American uh, American people use it a lot, um, uh, but. You won't hear that many academic people uh, using it because it's it, it's more a popular slang culture of art rather than the academic. Oh, this is the Latin word. Or now I'm not into all that sort of stuff. I, I can't be doing it. Uh, you, you know, like plain uh, uh, en plein air, right? Right. If I if I were uh, if I were to go up to your average everyday person and ask them what that means, right, they probably yeah. wouldn't have a clue what that means. <laughs> All right. Now, if I said to them, "I'm going outdoor painting," they'd know absolutely what I were on about. I'm going outdoor painting. So I like to keep my expressions and the way I teach things in in the normal, regular English language that all of us know. Now I do know I do know what all these like Latin words mean and all that sort of stuff. It's not that I'm ignorant of it. It's just that sometimes it's hard enough learning how to paint and draw uh, uh, as it is. So why complicate it by adding silly old words to it? Just I don't know. Just my opinion. Is that a rant? Yeah, I think so. That's your third rant for today. 
And uh, you notice, uh, I know that's because your uh, your abilities to make me um, have that happy. You, uh, it's it's faded off. Oh no, no. Okay, leave it. Oh my god, I looked down to type for a second, and when she and she and when she looks back up again, Ian's pulled it all together, nicely done. When when that's beautiful. When when um you start getting your your tonals in and do certain bits it does pull together if if, if you've done a decent enough job in the first place mm -hmm. it, it 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 effortlessly uh pulls together once once you get towards end of it hopefully most of the time <laughs> oh dear What time are we on? Oh, I've got, we've got we've got fifteen minutes yet, so I'm yeah. I'm going to pace it down a bit. And what I will do is I'm I'm going to get my big brush again, and I'm going to do some bigger expressions. We have fifteen people in here. Just a few seconds 15. ago, eighteen. We had eighteen Ooh. people just a few seconds ago. But, uh, thank thank you everybody for coming in and uh, spending time with us because there's yeah, plenty of other you, things that you could be doing. Absolutely, yeah. plenty of other things. Yeah, uh, uh, Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting it's Valentine's Day. Right, I'm 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 just gonna do a bit of Cause I'm not wrong with a bit of splatteroon. Splatteroon! Right. Absolutely. I just had bits of colour interest here and there where it needs it. And it, and, and it, it. Uh -huh. and, and it, it kind of reminds us that it's a broken up pattern of things rather than one solid object. It, and you did that, I mean, it. Re, it because you because you're doing what technique that makes it do that? Well, uh, what I did is just I put bits of splatter in it. Uh, oh, um, different, 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 rather than having lots of solid lines in it. So it, it's a combination of very washy, detailed bits and bits of randomized splatter, uh, uh, and that kind of goes together to build a. Uh, like a, it's a cluster of um, yeah. a cluster of colour even though you can't particularly see the absolute outcome of it you know you can't see all the details of every flower you know that it's a bunch of flowers but just slightly out of focus Gus, when it came up with a name for the bird, she just said, call the bird Valentine, LOL. No, you could call it what you want. I mean, it, it, you guys, it, I mean, it's, it's your show. I, I, I'm just the mere artist. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. A whole bunch of people said something. Okay, wait a minute. And then Web Like Dream says, Gus Winner, that's a good idea. Oh, hi, Paul's Blind Soup for the Soul. Hi, Paul. Nice to see you. <laughs> He said, "Still time for a pint of bitter, la bitter." Yes. Still time but, for a pint of bitter, Ian. Well, uh, well, uh, insane. No, to, to be honest with you, Paul, it's 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 nearly um, it's it, eleven o'clock, half past eleven. It's uh, can we have your beer off, please? Can we have your beer off, please? That's something that gets said at, in a pub. That that's last orders. I don't know if you have that in America. No, Last what do order. they call it? Is that a beer what? off? Can you have your beer off, please? That means sup up and get home. Ah. Oh, and then Lisa says, Ian, you probably said you probably had this question a million times, but what brand watercolor do you use? Uh I, I have a broad range of different watercolors that I use. This one, strangely enough, today 
let me just show you it. Oh, and um, Dina, Dina, Dina Tarleson just joined us. Hi, Dina. Hi, Dina. Hey, uh, uh, have, have we got a, a challenge for next month, Dina, while you're here? Or, or, or is it a top secret? I've, I've got to like sure, uh, schedule. Top secret until she announces it. Um, uh, I've got to. Uh, well, I'll, all I want to know is whether we've got one or not, because I need I'm, to schedule. I'm, I need to schedule I'm, myself. You see, because it takes about five years to put a a video up at the moment. I don't know why. Hmm. And it doesn't always it doesn't always um, upload. It gets to ninety five percent, and it says this computer will self destruct in thirty seconds. Okay. So that, she yes, she says yes. There will be a. There are gonna. She goes. I will be announcing a new challenge at the end of the month. Great. So I can schedule myself as long as I'm scheduled. It's it's okay. So anyway, the, uh, we're talking about uh, what me pa what palette I'm using. This is the palette I'm using. Uh, this is made up of um, all sorts of different companies, professional paints from tubes. So this is me desk. This is me so big. Different brands. You're saying different. All sorts brands. of different brands. And uh, as long as you know what you're doing and you're not going out and buying. Uh, the equivalent one from one brand to another you know uh, plan it right and that's the best way to do it get the best ones from the different companies because like for example Sennelier might be really good for reds whereas whereas um, M Grams might be good for blues or, or, or another big company might be good for yellows or you know what I mean do your research and find the best ones. Uh, but don't have one as big as this. This this is a deluxe. I, I mean, for me, this is really large. There's about 36 colours on that. I really don't need all of those. Uh, I'm spoilt for choice. But uh, anything about uh, a set that has about 16 colours in it will be good for anybody. But even 16 colours is a lot of money to spend. Because if you say one uh, one tube of paint can be like $10, and they can be professional ones, 16, 16 times 10, $160 to set yourself up with a, a watercolour palette. And that doesn't even get you the palette. And that don't get you your brushes either, so it it can you just got to be canny and think about it. But these the, the that's me mixed big desktop palette. I've got several other palettes that are specific companies. I, I use Jacksons. They've got they if you can get any from Jacksons in the UK, they're great. Uh, Sennelier. Uh, I, I use SAAs. Uh, watercolors uh schminke um daniel smiths occasionally when i can get hold of them um and several others that uh, are oh, uh, rembrandt's by royal talon but it's just about the availability at any one time okay so, uh, so we're on 51 now and i don't think i'm going to be doing an awful lot more Okay. Yes, oh, and T Dina says that it will. It, the challenge will be due mid March. All right. Well, I'll look out for it anyway, and uh, we'll we'll uh, see what I can do with regards uh, putting one up. It's just that I've got to schedule it because I just don't trust YouTube at the moment because every time I try putting anything up. It takes about two days to actually get a video up. If I'm going to do an half an hour video, it's it, it's uploading for nearly two days. And you can't do anything with your system as well while you're doing really, it. Really, it does take. You really, you can't get it done overnight. Like I mean, what the upload? Well, won't... I, I've left I've left things overnight, and it's got to about sixty percent. Uh, and then sometimes it's crashing as well. It'll get to ninety percent, and it'll go. 
still fit. I'm not doing anymore. Hmm. And it's only just started doing that recently. Oh, really? As we swapped over to these new so-called better systems and that. So, because it, it, it used to be fine before. It used to take me a couple of hours to put a video. You know, an half an hour video used to yeah. be a couple of hours. And now all of a sudden it's eight and nine and ten hours. Just for a short one. And 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 did you supposedly upgraded? You upgraded your internet? No, it's, it's not. Upgraded the, it's not they upgraded it. It, it's, it. it's not that the uh, uh, upgraded me internet. It's it's not that. It's it, it's uh, um, YouTube recently supposedly uh -huh. uh, made it, made it easier and faster and better. I don't think so. Huh. But it's made it twice as slow. Huh. In saying that, I haven't put a video up since uh, uh, Microsoft Windows did a major update the other day, and I haven't done. A, I haven't put a video up since that. So I'm going to see this time round whether that's resolved it. Because it only needs a driver to be slightly out of kilter. Ah. Uh. Uh, and it can make a a short job long. So last few little little bits, and this this is where you've got to be incredibly careful because you can start doing way too much detailing. To you need too much detail on the bird. Yeah. That's it, I'm leaving it. I'm not touching it again. That's it, I'm done. Okay, he's done. I'm done. Let's, let, let's get a bit of a close-up so you can get a better idea image. So we've got his bird there. And it's slightly silhouetted because we've got strong light coming from there. So it's it's slightly biased light this side and darker that side, which gives you your three-dimensional feel. And then all the rest is like a fuzzy, aged out, um, uh, because of the narrow depth of field that you have in the background. It's all fuzzed out and fuzzy. Whereas when you get closer, i.e. That, that flower there, you get a bit more detail. There you go. Wow, Dina says her uploads take all night. She lives Does in that, Ireland. Has she got... Uh, well, I mean... Funny man, it does it take over eight hours? Eight um, hours? The part of the country she lives in. For, for me, that's not true. Is, that's is, not yeah, but is that because of... Uh, do you have, Does Dina have full broadband? Oh, she might be relying on a telephone exchange. Oh no, I'm sure she has more than a telephone thing. Well, unless that, unless she's forced only to telephone. I don't, I don't mean a person on end of phone clicking a wire. I'm on about, I'm on about a, a, a normal standard exchange. Oh, it's not because she lives in a valley and the internet connection is slow. Right. It, it all depends on how far you are away from a main hub. That's what it is. Because you can oh, have... Lisa, the I don't know if we're going to have time for it. Lisa, I'm sorry, I don't know if we're going to have time. She goes, what's a good camera for a beginner? If you have a phone, a what, camera phone, like an iPhone, use your camera, use your what, iPhone camera. What, what, what does she mean? What type of camera? Does she mean a, a still yeah. camera? A photography camera? Or does she mean a camera, a, a for, camera for doing videos? Because if, it, if it's a camera for doing videos, she needs to go out and get um, a Logitech C920. That's good for that's good for for uh, for uh, that, that's a good good all round standard for if filming and videos and for, for live streaming. For live streaming and for filming videos and for things that we are doing here like this. That's that's a good standard. 
if you get if you go for any other webcams that are, are not quite the same you might be disappointed because the standards on them are not as good but the, the industry standard for what we all use is is logitech uh, c920 there you go lisa if that if that answers your question i'm not sure and no, then if, you're, you're, if, you're, if you're talking about still cameras it depends on what level yeah, you want still to camera that might be different okay and dina says she is using broadband but she is uploading 4k oh ah well uh um uh one one your computer needs to be fully 4k compatible two your broadband needs to be fully 4k compatible and three 4k is just way too high huge it's not it's not really it's not really for uh live it's it's it, it, it's for viewing high definition yeah. video uh yeah i know giving it really good high quality from a, a thing that's already downloaded on the thing uh like from you know like a, a blurry disc or something like that all right did, so i guess we're going to wind it up then well we're not far off we're on 58 now so unless there's uh, have we answered the question yeah she regard? said thanks she said yeah. thanks and then that's when i also told her she goes she uses a webcam with a mic in it and lisa did yeah. say thanks so long so long as it's um 10 1080p right uh, i mean and, and it's got a microphone in it you'll get away with it but there are there are, if you if you go on something like amazon uh, there are there are a boatload of companies that make webcams not all of them are as good as a logitech but uh, I, th I think going rate for a logitech c920 is about is about 70 80 dollars uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right like 65 70 yeah, but I don't know exactly. It's been a while since I bought one, and there are oh, new the ones. does cost a little bit more, like seven, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars. That's right. Yeah, the, the newer ones, the C, the C nine thirties and the C nine forties that are made with, uh, for, uh, uh, four K and all that in them, they're going to be in hundreds of dollars. But you don't need that. You really don't need it. Not if you're only just starting out. So, because you, you need to think about your computer and its graphic card capability as well. That's really important. So anyway, Ian Jackson does tech. Yay. Oh, she says she's done Baby Yoda. She done, well, you better get it up because, because we need to see it. Where are you going to put it? On your Facebook? Put it on your Facebook and then Where are you put it on Facebook? Are you on Instagram? I know she's on Facebook. She's on I'm on Well send I it to me. Send... I know she's on Facebook. Send it to me on my Facebook messaging and I'll have a look at it. Uh, and look, look, I'm, I'm I made a not chocolate for myself. Did I drink it? Did I? Eat? You didn't drink it? No, because I've been waffling, we are. <laughs> Rant of the week. All right then. So, oh, is there any other uh, further? Blind, wait, wait, bald blind suit for the soul says Lisa wants to do a a time lapsed art drawing paint. Oh. Time lapsed. Oh, you well, can't do that with a webcam, can you? Oh, 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 you can. You, you can do that you with can, an iPhone. Time lapsed. Are best done well, with an iPhone. For anybody who's not got any of this equipment, I, I'm I'm working a, a video out where you can for absolutely free. Uh, use if you've got if you've got a Windows based computer, you can do video editing, right? And and on 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 a particular program that's already installed on your on your Windows ten, uh, you can do time lapse. 
So what you speed it up on your video editing, you speed up your video to like to three times, four times fast. And that's instead of yeah, doing so time lapse, you speed it up in your video it's editing. Not a sim it's not as simple as that because what you do have to do with time lapse video is separate your audio from your from your video. Well that's easy to do. Uh well, it depends on whether your program that you've got does it. Well, every pro, every, it's easy in iMovie and it's easy in LumaFusion, both with which I've used. All you do is press one button and it separates it and you put it in the trash. That's it. And then you put some music over it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it can be done. It's just, uh, uh, you just need to download a free program that does editing that has. Um, uh, time lapse that crunches you the time of your video from however long, let's say it's an hour long, down to five. Well, I've heard from somebody who's a very good videographer, and he said that what he has all these expensive cameras, and mm. the best way to do time lapse is on his iPhone. Yeah, but that's directly doing time lapse by taking a photo every so many seconds. Um, no, oh, hi, where we are. Thank you for thumbs up the live, and we're gonna we're we're leaving soon. We're closing soon. You can you can do it. You can do it while videoing and tell it to do that. But it's best to film all of it, and then in post production, crunch it down to the time that you want it. Because Grace Campaign says another wonderful painting. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we have to close it up. People have to say they're people are saying they have to go and they're leaving. And so, bye everybody. Thank you so much to my moderators that were helping, and thank, thank you, you for people that are in the chat today. To new people, hope you come back next Friday, same time, same place. Fridays, four p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or or check my about page because I have a whole bunch of other. I do live streaming five times a week now. I mean, okay. I do it three times on Wednesday. Three times on Wednesday, once on Tuesday, three times on Wednesday, and once on Friday. Oh, and and some of it is guest art. Three of those are guest artist live oh. streams, and two of them are grow streams. Grow streams. <laughs> yeah, but guys. Uh, All right. Then, thank you, everybody, for being here. And really do. If you do or do not celebrate, if you do celebrate Happy um, Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day. And have a lovely evening. Or, oh yeah, wherever you are, that's right. Wherever if you are, you don't celebrate. If you don't celebrate uh, uh -huh. Valentine's Day, I'm gonna sing you a song. I'm not in love, so don't forget it. <laughs> you your face. I'm going through, ooh, 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 ooh. and just because I forgot the words, I'm going to end now. Bye bye. <laughs> You sound like Kermit the Frog a little bit. No. But I know what song you were singing. I know it. Is it all in us? I'm not in love. I forget who sings it, but I know that song. It's just a silly phase I'm going through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You yeah, you're married. I'm always in love with my wife. It's a constant state of loveness. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I don't have special days for showing how much I love my wife because oh, every day is a special right. day. Every day you, is special you already day. said you think Valentine's Day is too commercial. Plus, plus, plus you know all the things that um, what women generally like, generally like, you know, oh, chocolates, flowers, all that bag of mashing. Yeah. If I if I if I take a chocolates or a bag of flowers, it's an excuse to hit me. <laughs> She hates all that sort of stuff. She really does. Hate she does. Yeah, she does, yeah. Okay. So I just okay. leave her in a, I'll leave her in a little corner to do whatever she wants to do. That's like my present to her. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, thanks for being the artist again. Uh, Beautiful painting again. Bye everybody.